Yeah, no, like if you did the clock out towards the bottom. Yeah, I figured that one. Decision A. Do you know my chance how I feel like this? No idea. No. Okay, well, let me explain this to you, right? Probably sitting under the sink like it always is. You come home wondering a couple of Whoa, whoa. Okay, hey, fuck you, man. You know what? It was you. Okay? And you know how I know it was you? Because there are three fucking people who smoke in this house. Me, quite frankly, you, Cass. Cass has a robe on, shoots it upstairs, various parts, it's I've broken like, what, three in the past. Mm. No, man, it was you. Okay? You come home, you had a few ricks, you left all the gunk in it, and look what happened. What? Did it get all hard and stuff? That's what he said. Yes, it did, man. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, alright? I should have said something earlier. Okay, why don't I try to find a new piece, huh? And this Cass, let's whip out that setup. Not gonna happen. Okay. It's a bit rough though, don't you think? Yeah, James, it's a Gatorade, really. It's not in the world. Like, oh God. You know, all I wanted from tonight was to come home, have a couple with a couple of beers, and just chill with you guys before we get fucked by this work with. Oh, Jamie. Yeah. You do not have Christmas league, it's always horrific. Okay, it cannot be anything like Australia Day. Look, I'm not knocking <laughs> Australia Day, but Christmas Eve is fucking up there. Really? Yeah, the thing with Australia Day is everyone just wants more drinks, you know, more beers, more rum, more cocktails. Christmas, they want that along with more meals. Shit. Yeah, so you're stuck in a cycle of trying to keep them busy before their food comes, and you don't want to have to look at you because you know they're slim. Thank God for you, you keep them sweet potato fries instead of regular fries, and that's a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs>
Danny can set up a few small items here in the living room. There's a new space, nothing fancy, nothing new to very light or anything, just like a few little trinkets, like, I don't know, baubles or something. And what the hell are baubles? And a tree, a real one. Oh God, thing. not a tree, oh, Dan. No, okay, I've got plenty of plant life in this house, thanks to Cass's little things. Um, it's flora, all right? Suburban flora. <laughs> yeah, Cass, look. Thank you. Did you find a florist for your rehearsal dinner? 
actually a guess. Oh. In the end, we did. No, Thank that's you. true. I'm glad. She stopped asking around for you as well as you. Freedom, man. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have to ask for work, but I know what you mean. No, I've been sending Jeff to you today because, like, after that, man, it's like complete freedom, you know? <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like it should be easier. You know, we've got all this history to fall back on, and that's what's making me second guess myself. Just getting sick of Tinder and hitting bars and seeing what happens, you know? But Jesse's great, man, and I feel like if I push it, would I mess up what we have right now? Because what we have right now is great. Do you want to rip? Yes. Hey guys, guys, what the hell? Right, what back. are you saying about Shut smoking? up, okay? I should be allowed to smoke in my own house. I fucking should. What? Did you break another bomb? Did you break another bomb? Jamie. No, okay, okay, you won. All right, you won. Your your precious living room is smoke free. Your couch, smoke free. Your, your, your kitchen, smoke free. Your, my God, thank God. Thank God Danny's little inbred standard doesn't have to sit through me smoking in my own okay, fucking okay. No, man, you know what? You, you just, I just don't understand why you have to make everything such a big deal. You know? Because you just like, you're upset. You just have to Val's make everything. Val's outside. What? Val's outside looking for you. Val? Why didn't she just come in? I don't know, I haven't seen her in like a year or something. Yeah, same. They were seeing each other for a while, weren't they? Ah, uh, I don't really know. What do you think she wants? No idea. Do you think they're hanging out again? No idea, Dre. Alright, that was your day. Half your sales? Uh, no, not really. It wasn't the best day selling, which is weird because it's boutique jewelry on Christmas week. But I had my presentation, so that kept me busy. Oh, how'd it go? <laughs> it went well. <laughs> I was just talking about what different types of jewelry sell rapidly during different times of the year. Okay, for example, women don't generally buy themselves heart-shaped pendants. Normally they're partners. So market that stuff around Valentine's or Christmas week. All those like blue or aqua jewels around the month of February, you know, for that star sign stuff. Great, Max. I'm glad I'm well. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Isn't he? 
coming over territory or something. <laughs> Aren't they supposed to be like a tough breed up there? <laughs> He's Armenian. <laughs> You'll be right. 
you, you've got the degree. Here's a job through for you. You'll find something. What about you, though? How are you liking the new job? How are you liking the new It's good. It's good. It's um, all right. I kind of wish we didn't make so many accounts the week before Christmas, but I guess no one said I had to get married. Hey, hey. Well, so. so the contract oh. is out back.
alterations to an old dress can be a bit dicey. <laughs> it's great, it's good. Fine. It's beautiful, actually. You know, we haven't had to make any alterations to any. Oh, I'm so glad it's held up. I think I might have seen a post or two a few weeks back. Oh, did you? Did you really? Did you actually have a six, seven? Oh, it's actually <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I can show you a few of my designs. Like, okay, what about that one? Oh, God. Um, which one? That one. And that bracelet, actually, there's something really cool about that one. The two emblems are entirely made out of recyclable copper. Recycled from what exactly? Oh, like everyday things cans, coins. Coins! Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually becoming a trend now. More and more jewelry lines are starting to take this kind of stuff because if it looks good and it's cost effective, why not?
you doing in the fucking living room? <laughs> I know it's a bit different, but the my in-house work and FOG, the way it works, my clients know where I need watches. Because yeah. I don't give a shit about the watches. Why are you doing it here? Well, if you let me... With the watches... Basically, got my clients who are in-house work out on the holidays. These watches wanted our heart rate. It's up to us to get them moving every day. That doesn't answer my question, dude. What do you mean? Why can't you have got a whole world out there to spend your body miserably? Good in house workout, Jay. Working out in the house, man. You're the instructor, dude. You, you, like, you instruct the little sheep to do their little workouts. You, you sit there from afar instructing. Not do it, not participate. You instruct the doing. <laughs> well, monkey see, monkey do. You've got to set an example, Jack. Yes, monkey do. <laughs> what kind of an argument is that? There is no one here, dude. It's tracked through the watches. That's why I wanted to explain the watches. Strap it to a dog, throw a fucking stick at it. <laughs> nah, for doing the work, mate. Put it in the time. Nobody's safe from my shit. You're gonna be like, Captain, gotta get your engineers and you work that flagpole until you can raise the flag and say, You are a conqueror! Jesus Christ. You know, I really believe in sure one thing every day. Just one thing it just sucks. Just push people's boundaries. Build character. Just be honest. It may seem stupid. It's a few days off. Why not enjoy them? You still can. But even if it's an hour work out after lunch, you know you'll learn to drink for enough. That's what it's about. What are you doing, Dre? Huh? So the mess screen on one of our windows keeps coming loose. A little rubber sugar dolls in place keeps like popping out whenever the wind picks up. Oh yeah, and we're gonna try and jam it in there and see if it can. You need any help with that? Nah, it's uh... No, we're fine. We're doing a workout in the living room. Oh, he is. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty innovative, really. What team and I are doing? See, we're all wearing these smart ones. No, 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 the watch is, mate. <laughs> what is normal to no one gives a shit about your watches, man. Okay, they're just pretty smart, baby. <laughs> Two seconds. Hey, hey, why are you all snappy, Jay? What's the problem? Look, I'm, I'm just trying to play cotton. No, no, you've been walking around looking for a final day, huh? What's up? Look, nothing, nothing is. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, I'm missing four organic beef, feta cheese snacks. So, what does that tell you? <laughs> Trash. 
three paychecks and then I have a little cry on the way home. Hey, I'm sure it's in our solid. But do you need to write them up? Like, are you working? <laughs> yeah. If the creek's open, I seem to be working. <laughs> well, I can give you a ride. That's okay, Greg. You don't have to. No, stop, stop. I'll pick you up. What, what time's your shift? Uh, actually, I know it's your office to pick me up again <laughs> in the morning, but I don't have a ride home. I understand it's a bit out of your way. What are you talking about? I'll be there. When's your shift? No, it's fine, I'll open on five and city, but, but I'll be there. That's Jay, I can find the right. Jesse, it's fine, seriously, I'll be there. How are we feeling? Doing yeah? the, the right thing, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Just got a little work in and out the back, feeling fresh, feeling the blood just swimming through me. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so that's where your home workout class thing is, right? Yeah, yeah, it's still working out in the house, trying to save this during the holidays. Hey, you know, it's like keep up that momentum. Oh, you gotta keep up that momentum, guys. Yeah, you can go some with smart watches and track. Yes, you're amazing. Yes, these smart watches are amazing at the track. Everything, heart rate, body temperature, workout. If you're doing a particular workout, like a box jump or something, it will track the amount of reps you've done. I know, right? And this whole in-house workout reason is something my gym is super excited about, especially in COVID time, right? It totally changed the way people could be working out in 10, 15 years. And it's perfect with Christmas. No one wants to leave the house. Everyone's good body for summer. It's a win win. Plus, you know, I hate seeing like five and five. Definitely interesting time. So, where did you, where did you get it? Well, where did I get this one? Well, someone gifted me from my gym, but we had gone to this like fitness expo in the Gold Coast. Some of all the trainers that I owned at that. But <laughs> what is that? It does. Yeah, it does. D A Z. Keep up, Andre. Um, it was there that we decided to buy a few of these training watches for three of our intensive training sessions at the expo. Well, it was more of like a meet and greet with other people from the I community. I hate those things. Really? What? Well, I just find them kind of phony, and the people there are just like, oh, it's probably different for people in different industries. Yeah, well, I found it to be a great time, but you know, I think my team did it right. You know, we weren't prepared, but yeah. you're right, it's too vastly different for different industries. What industry did it? Uh, it was just a meet and greet that I did for one for the graduating class of students. Um, Andre was there. Oh, yeah, you did do that, um, that. Yeah, 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 yeah I did yeah. get you with talks and that stuff in Melbourne. True, true, yeah, no, I never said it wasn't helpful. Big stuff. Was it just you and talks or both of you, or just Jess? Um, nothing really panned out with that one. I mean, it was a small tech company. I think one of many trying to implement another brand student or something. Well, you know what? They're lost. Beautiful perfect for that job. Beautiful girl in a beautiful city. Uh, but hindsight, you know, like, they're dealing with it over pretty heavily. Yeah, now bounce back, you know? And at least you're doing something with companies like that. You're just chasing yourself in circles, doing something meaner. Meaner. Like, like Ubering. The <laughs> amount of Uber drivers I see these days. I hate you, Bristol. <laughs> Come on, Cam, keep up. <laughs> Where do you get off? Eating your shit, I guess. Why am I first of all I knew it. I knew it. You didn't know the shit. Fuck, I knew it. It's stuck in the bridge with the stack. Yes, yes. that is what I'm saying. Cam, yeah. yeah. terrible movement. I'm saying that's a terrible Really? Yes. yes. I'm not the one doing yes. full on workouts. Oh, yes. the living room. They're not even good. Yeah, you know what's oh. good? That food of yours. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. having that feed. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Yeah. I love having that sausage of yours. Yeah. Oh, the what is happening? Yeah, my sausage. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! 
bubble. <laughs> What's my this? Okay, this is my problem, Max. Because this shit, this isn't here forever. This, this, this is changing. No, no, people, people are changing. The, the, the lives of people are changing. Yeah. I, I am simply a man. A little high, just, just, just trying to play some cod. Okay, so just be quiet right now. Be ideal. No. No, 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 we, we couldn't even achieve that for James, could we? No, 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 God forbid, God fucking forbid we give James one ounce of serenity on his day off. How are we surprised? <laughs> Yeah, I, I can I can take an extra break of work. It's fine. It's yeah, no, I'll be there. All right. It's okay. See you there. Turn around and talk to people for however long. So 
preaching almost. What are you trying to say? I'm saying it sounds like he's running a cult. Oh, oh, oh. Ted Proctor Baker is not a cult leader. Oh my god, Ted Proctor Baker is the name of a cult leader. Yeah, you sound just like Jaden. Okay, yeah, well, for as much shit as Jaden gets, he's actually going to break his head. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, no, nothing. No, I mean, I, I, I was, I, um. <laughs>
Oh, why? Ah, oh, a couple of reasons. But mainly because we had a drug test last week and I conveniently took a sick day, which is not to do these days, and I think he knew, so. Right. Do they drug test often at Woolies, or? <laughs> I've heard of it happening. I mean, I haven't been there long enough, but I, I think they're trying to weed a few people out after the initial COVID intake. But the crazy Christmas rush. The economy's in a recession, mate. <laughs> True. Have you smoked recently? Yeah, uh, I should be more careful considering I might not get enough notice. Alright, I gotta go, I can't wait for the... Did you give it a rub? I mean, you're done with work, right? Mate, look, I'm gonna be honest, uh, this is some really good rub, and also my third, yeah. so I can't go anywhere for a bit. Um, I should catch an Uber, right? Yeah. Not exactly hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, should you just drive your car? I mean, get it, meet at Danny's, and then that'd be fine, right? You pick her up later. Okay, well, it's a Ford Tundra, and it's new, so no. Right, okay, uh, she can catch an Uber. Uh, just tell her I owe a ride and a drink for the trouble, okay? Thanks, Ken. You're welcome. Take a canister out, pour it out behind the place, 
then it fills the water through the hose to clean out any remnants of the Pepsi Max. Because if it's left in there, it can supposedly make people like super sick. Hey, okay, well, it's in date. It's Pepsi Max and it's my yeah. drink, okay? It's fine.
Well, I mean, Val would be the one that checked me out, but I, I get what you mean. What? Well, I mean, I mean, it's a, a team effort. Like I, I warned you, but like Val was the one that they're poking and prodding, you know. Val's pregnant. What the? <laughs> what? Oh, you are you serious? I no. So, <laughs> Everything's in place to be like everything's me. I have the dress, the venue, the guest room, everything. 
keen, are you? I really 
position of him. Yeah, no, I don't think you should. And you know what? Leave it on the bench. I'm sure Max or someone will make sure the princess gets it. Okay. But I don't even know why I'm invited to this rehearsal thing tonight. I, what do you mean? Well, I hardly know Kenny. I barely know him, and I've spoken to him like maybe a handful of times. I. Well, yeah, but it's not like you're off the street. And like I wasn't living here when Dan was living here, so we never had that roommate connection. I, were you here when she was living here? No, no, I wasn't. But she does come around a lot when you think about it. See, you know what I'm talking about. My invite was kind of just like collateral. Oh, just toss her in there. She'll be right. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to make the most of it. Good food, open bar. And there's just something about weddings that just gets people going. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I went to a mate's wedding out west once. Oh, God. So much food. Like, <laughs> too much food. <laughs> Oh, it's technology. 
this will at least be with people who at least seem like they give a shit about something other than themselves, no? And then you can be a really cool change of pace being around that. Sure, could you get in contact with them? Send them an email. No, 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 no. I could never work there. It was just an example. Jesse, you've got a degree. Yeah. You send them an email. Max, they probably get bombarded with hundreds of emails daily. I need to focus on something smaller, something just starting up. I highly doubt it's hundreds. Half of them are probably old fishermen with androids. Because they're fixing the shark and it's
breakfast, you know, just a morning. A morning that I'll uh, soon blend in with many previous mornings and many mornings to come until it's just, you know, one memory, one, one thought, one, one morning. Hey, how, how are you? Well, I'm getting iron. So that's going yeah, on. yeah, shit. Um, I'll be there. I'll be, um, I'll be working, but, you know, I'll be there. Oh, that's unfortunate. They couldn't be on, like, the morning or something, or...? Yeah, I mean, um, I, I had the whole day off, but uh, when someone quits on the spot, you kind of got to rearrange the timetable a bit. So. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure about your beer. Yeah, um, thanks, man, but it might be a little weird me drinking on the job. All right, then afterwards, then, I'm assuming we'll be there for a while. Okay, sure, sounds, sounds fine. Good. So I'm actually going to find a brooch. Brooch? Danny's brooch. Uh, she supposedly came over this morning looking for it. I don't know, she's been golfed by the family now. They're all at her parents' place. Uh, she was complaining about it at the brunch. So I thought I'd come and do a double check, you know? Yeah, well, aren't you a gentleman? You've got to try, don't you? Sure. <laughs> um, well, I haven't seen a brooch, man, but um, feel free to, like, rip the place apart, you know? Thanks, mate. Uh, she said she might think that it's under, like, the couch. I don't know if you've seen her, like, around and just, um... <laughs> you alright, mate? Yeah? Just... just a weird week, you know? <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, um... Look, Jessie told us about... Well, she told Danny, told me about a bit of a... Situation that you're in at the moment. Yeah, did she? She did. Um, <laughs> look, mate, I'm, I'm sure that you're, you're going through a lot right now. It's a, it's a lot. It's a it's a lot to take in. Probably insanely overwhelming. So I, I just I, I want you to know that I'm sure you are taking the steps that need to be taken, and 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 you're discussing everything that needs to be discussed. You know. What? <laughs> You and Val, disgusting. What about me and Val? Isn't Val pregnant? Who the fuck told you that? Jesse. 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 Jesse told Danny and told me. So I mean, fucking what? No wait, no, sorry, no, no. It was Max. So Max told Jesse. No. Jesse told Danny. Well, they might have been the same room. I'm not entirely sure. It was like a transitive property. So sort of everyone fucking knows. Cool. Awesome. Lit. Cool. Oh yeah. Mate, what do you think I was talking about? I don't know, like I said something to Alba. Well, you pissed at me or something. <laughs> Why would I have pissed at you? I don't know. <laughs> Jaden. Good. <laughs> Why would you think I'm pissed at you? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pissed. I didn't. Then why would you say it? Say what? <laughs> <laughs> that I was pissed at you. Why would you think that? I, I, I don't know, you know, sometimes um, people say some things like, um, that, that could be like misinterpreted or like misconstrued in a specific way that's like, um, different from other people and some people could get pissed about like specific things. Like what? Words? Like, um, like fiery, fiery statements, but, um, you and I both know, sticks and stones, so it's like, wait, so what, you were talking about me or something? Yeah, no, of course I was. Okay, of course, I'm, I'm always talking about Keenan. I'm like, I'm like, Keenan's coming over. <laughs> yeah, Keenan! Keenan. Okay, well, I, I don't, yeah. I don't. I still see why you think I'd be pissed at you. So I found this plant in the dishwasher. <laughs> some, some weirdos in this place. <laughs> Jaden, I don't know why you have a, a problem with me. I don't have a problem with anyone. <laughs> then what are we talking about? I don't know, you just you, you just came in here and you started screaming about literally nothing and now I don't know what the fuck is happening. Well, my apologies, I was trying to discuss your pregnant ex-girlfriend and then we got sidetracked. No, fuck, fuck you, man, I pulled out. <laughs> you don't know anything about me, man. You don't know my life, you don't know shit. Well, what I do know is that the two of you went to the doctors the other day and I know that which is that Jesse put a shit on the workplace and say you thought we had herpes or something? 
I didn't say herpes! <laughs> Whatever it was, what did you say? <laughs> didn't go. Right? So, so fucking terrified.
Jaden. Um, uh, have you been in the kitchen at all? Because <laughs> I just feel like I found the cactus and I don't know what the plan would be if someone were to have um, touched a masculine filled cactus. Um, <laughs> you have work this afternoon, you have your concession on staff. Listen, listen, Jaden. I, I, Jess, I really, I really do appreciate you. Yeah, I know I don't say this enough to people that I should say it to, but I love having you in my life. It's a strange way of expressing it. Uh, yeah, I know. It's something I need to work on, something that I've needed to work on, but the work never seems to get done for whatever reason. I just feel like I've been stuck for a while now, you know? Like I'm not going anywhere. Like, I don't know what the fuck my priorities are. Like, do I want to keep trying to find work or should I just study some more? Should I just move back up north and do exactly what I'm doing right now except for the beach right there? Like, I do even like the fucking beach that much. I just, look, and I know I'm not the only one that's been dealing with shit, all right? This year's been so shit and I realise that, Jess. I do.
probably walking into. <laughs> Why is this stage so important? Well, I thought tonight would be a great chance for me to showcase my new in-house workout regime for a few patients. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Okay, how would you go about showcasing one of those workout plans? Regime. Andre, I literally just said right now. <laughs> I don't know, I was thinking I'd just get up on stage, start passing out push ups. People sitting on their drinks going like, who the body does this guy? Huh? He doesn't bloody stop, does he? And then also, it doesn't really lie, like a hundred, and then I talk about the workout, the regime, perfect timing, New Year's Eve, right around the corner. You know what? That sounds like a great plan to me. Yeah, that's right. Every good normal is that book, right? Yeah. I would just say that you even attempt, yes, attempt grabbing the microphone on stage in the middle of Danny's wedding reception and pitching your weekly workouts to your entire family and friends. She will destroy you and everything you love. So there is a stage. There is no fucking stage. You just said there was a stage. Yeah. 
away tomorrow and I'm just going to get yourself some work done, okay? Yeah. Unless there's um, something else that's upsetting you that you want to tell me. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, he's born the only one I see. Sing along to that voice.
togetherness. It's an interesting word. Now, Danny, Keaton, I know you two don't know me as well as you know some of the other people in this room, but I admire you two. I admire your togetherness, your unity. Now, unity is something to find these days, especially in these COVID times. It really is. Unity within a relationship, a friendship group, a workplace, unity within a gym or healthcare center, and that's why I'm here tonight. Now, don't think again. I couldn't walk into a gym four or five months ago, and even now, I'm so skeptical. Is it safe? But what if I told you, you don't even have to? And that is why I would like to proudly introduce my very own in-house workout regime run by your school. And this is how it works, right? We're all going to be wearing these watches. These watches are amazing, right? They track everything. Heart rate, body temperature, workout, intensity, so workout, and much, much more, folks. Now, no, I think we're going to be done with toast. Can you pay the time? Okay, this is mine. Jane, what are you doing? I'm trying to speak to the people here. Yeah. 
extreme highs to extreme lows. Yeah, everyone does. Everybody does sometimes. You do all the time. <laughs> Did Sang have a problem? No, I, I think that you have a condition. What kind of condition? I don't know, but maybe that's something. I think that's why you should look into it. You think I'm broken? I'm not crazy, Jess. That's just... Said every crazy person ever. I think we're all a little crazy. Maybe there's something that you can do about your crazy. Maybe I can do it. I don't know. Just think about it. I mean, could we just go away together?
Bible dying this morning full of passion. Not really in the Christmas spirit that I think that Cassandra. Cassandra? <laughs> I am warning you, don't you dare go down that road. Yes, yeah, Jaden was a guinea pig, but I'm asked our next to take care of him driving home after the show will be fine. Well, great job. He's probably dead. Our next is useless. He's not. Cass, I'm not going to apologise. Fine, right, let's, let's just apologise, don't apologise. It's Christmas. We're all together. Let's just. Hey, I'm a few drinks 
away from frolicking through the streets with Jaden. Okay? <laughs> Jesse? Yeah, I'm Finally, Max? No, no, I'm fine for now. Maxine? Jaden won't be happy. <laughs> Nothing is going to upset Jaden right now. <laughs> 